So we're talking dining options on dinner out. Scott, you've got the amazing Moo Moo down at the Western. You've got Flying Fish here at the Sheraton. Tell me a little bit more about this brand dining concept from the guests' point of view and also the hotels. Well, Flying Fish uh, and Moo Moo the Wine Bar and Grill offers our guests a premium dining within a resort stay. Uh, no longer is it uh, about the room's accommodation when the guest comes and stays at a resort. They also look at the food and beverage offering of the resort as well. Yeah. From an associate point of view, uh, our local staff go to Flying Fish Sydney and also Moo Moo the Wine Bar and Grill on Gold Coast for training. Jason, these dishes look absolutely amazing. I've got to say, the attention to detail here is incredible. Thank you. Flying Fish, tell me a little bit how the concept came about because it's seafood infused with Sri Lankan flavours. That's correct. Um, I've worked with Peter Caravita for a few years in Sydney, uh, owner and master chef of uh, the Flying Fish in Sydney. Um, we worked and developed on a few of the dishes here um, that you will exactly find in Sydney and um, this is a, a little selection of what we have here. Wow, it looks amazing. And we've got uh, the Muddy here taking pride of place, but tell us a little bit about the food and the ingredients you use. Um, all of this is local, which is fantastic. We get the best seafood here. Um, we got our mud crab here, which is um, done salt and pepper style. Uh, we do a fantastic lobster ginger chili, which is very, very popular at the moment in our restaurant. Um, and we have our signature uh, yellowfin tuna, black pepper caramel, and ruby grapefruit. Scott, I've got to tell you, I love this restaurant. It looks amazing, the colours are great, you've got the dining concept out on the sand. But tell me a little bit more about Moo Moo itself. Um, look, I think the owners came over to Australia and they, they saw a great avenue to have, have a steak restaurant and something with a difference. Um, and the concept they came up with was a, a rare steak restaurant well done. And you've got some dishes that you've made for us tonight, or cooked up for us. Now, sitting here in the middle is the big kahuna, yes. The one kilogram Wagyu rump roast, uh, which looks absolutely amazing. Once upon a time in Australia, you used to chuck a steak on the barbie, yeah. and that was it. These days, you need to seal until smoky on the char grill and oven roast to your liking. Tell me a little bit more about that process. Uh, well, look, with the one kilo rump cap, there's obviously a lot of marbling through the meat, but on top of the meat, also it's covered in fat. So what I like to do is put it on the flat top first to render a little bit of that fat out. Um, we then put it onto the char grill to create a bit of smoky flavour through it. Um, then we put our little secret touch to it, the spices on top, and then we put it in the combi oven for your uh, cook to your cuisson. Wow, so it's actually a three-step process. It is. Uh, or four-step because then you bring it to the table and you slice it. We do, yes. Yeah, for either a two to four pack, basically, carved at the table. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to try it. Thank you very much for your time. It's Moo Moo at the Western here in Denarau.